What's up guys? Back by popular demand, the follow-up vid to my previous one, which is easily the most viewed, commented, and talked about vid on my channel since I ever started YouTube. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what kind of damages we had, what kind of repairs do we need to do to fix it, how can we prevent this in the future, and the reporting process, report the whole incident. So before we get into all of that, let me show you a quick clip of uh, this morning's fishing adventure. All right guys. First surf cast in quite a while, going in. Oh, look at that, first cast. I think it's a perch. Yep, it's a perch. First cast on the Lucky Craft. Oh man, this could be a good day out here. Not a giant, but it is a good fish, probably about a pound. All right guys, so on our very first cast, we have a decent sized bark surf perch right there. It's always a good sign first. Hopefully it's not a first cast curse. Unfortunately, it was a first cast curse. But anyway, back to this vid and what uh, you guys are probably all clicking on this video to see anyway. So first off, I'm gonna talk about what, dam what got damaged on the cock. I kind of talked about it in a previous video, in the last one, but after further review, let me just show you, just to bring you back up to speed. All right guys, so this is the rear of my kayak and this is where the main damage happened. We did also su suffer a little bit of damage to the seat, and I mentioned that the straps are broken, and so I'll address that later, but here's where the main damage happened. And if you can see, this is the rudder right here. It's just completely detached from the back end of the kayak. The only thing that's hanging on are these strings right here. Didn't think about it before, but now that this has happened, the way that this is designed is actually pretty smart. This is where it's supposed to be, and This is where it is now. So let's just talk about the repairs that we need to do. I mentioned earlier that the straps on the seat got broken. That's probably the easiest fix. Let me show you what we got there. Boom. A new strap for each side of the, the seat. So that should be good to go. I don't really need to show you how to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just thread it through and you're good to go. So there's that. So switching out this rudder. So let me show you a little bit of a close-up actually. So if you see here, there's that hole right there in the kayak. And this is on the back end, like I said. And there's a pin that threads through that hole and the hole on this um, rudder. So if you look right through right there, you can see all the way through to the grass. So there's a hole in the top of the rudder, the back of the kayak, and there's a pin that threads right through that. And ingeniously enough, Hobie has designed this so that if anything were to happen, like what just happened right? hit by a boat, this whole mechanism right here, the rudder system, would be okay. And the only thing that would break would be that pin. So kudos to the guys at Hobie for designing it this way. But now that something has hit me, aka a boat, rather than this whole rudder mechanism system breaking or even some damage to the kayak itself, all that's broke is that pin, this thing comes off, and now all I need to do is replace a $5 pin rather than this whole rudder assembly or the kayak itself would have been thousands for the kayak or you know, at least $50 for this rudder system. So right on cue, here's our rudder pin. And so now we're just gonna drop this right in there. So there you go, that's back in. And I'm pretty sure we're basically good as new. So let me just test this out, make sure everything's working. We're good to go. So now we got our working rudder there. We're good to go back on the water. The other thing we want to do when we go back out in the water is we want to make sure this doesn't happen again. So one thing that a lot of people commented on my last video, which is true, is that this is pretty dark colored kayak and therefore without any bright colors on board, it's going to be less visible to the average eye, you know, average boat coming by. So in order to fix that, there's a few things that we can do. One, a lot of people commented whistle, 
air horn, which is true, definitely makes you louder. You know, a whistle's gonna be louder than someone yelling. So that would be helpful. And another thing is something I got, which is this right here. And this is the Hobie visibility kit. But basically, it's just a bright green, bright orange uh, flag to put on the back of your kayak, which a lot of kayaks have. And if you don't, you should definitely look into getting one. So, this is my first time opening this up as well, so we'll test it out together here. I'll just go on. Oh, here we go. Probably helps to have all the pieces. Okay, getting a little hot out here, so I gotta take off my jacket. So anyway, here's the flag. It's basically a long plastic pole with this orange flag at the top. It's made by Railblazer. I'll leave it linked in the description below. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. And then a light at the top. This takes three AA batteries. I'll put them in later. This is definitely gonna increase our visibility and decrease the chances that a boat would come by and not see you. So, once we got this, we're just gonna put it in a rod holder here in the back. I don't have it in now. There's gonna be a straight rod holder right here. And there it's gonna be. It's even out of the picture because it's so high. The higher the better with this flag. I mean, the, with the swells out in the ocean, you're going up, down, up, down. It's very easy to be in the bottom of a swell and the boat's at the top and it wouldn't see over the swell and see your kayak. So the higher the better with the, kayak, or with the, with the flag and uh, light, especially if you're going out at low light conditions early in the morning, late at night, kayak, or the light is a must. Last but not at least, the reporting process. So on the day of, I didn't do any reporting. Um, like I said, it's just a pin replacement. It's like 10 bucks max at your local kayak shop. So that was my reasoning for not reporting it on the day of. So I think this incident happened on a Saturday. I ended up, in fact, reporting it on, I think it was either Tuesday or Wednesday of the following week. So what I did, I called up the California Division of Boating and Waterways, I believe, and asked them what I should do. They were very nice and helpful. They forwarded me to the San Mateo County Harbor District, which is the county in which this incident occurred. And I called them up. They were also very helpful, told them what happened. I told them I didn't want to pursue anything money-wise. I just wanted to report this incident and basically put it on record. And the reason for that, I'll get to in the end, but basically I called them, told them what happened, gave them a report of everything and they forwarded me to the Half Moon Bay Harbor Coast Guard, I believe it is. So yeah, I filed the, the report with them, told them what happened, and I left them my phone number. And basically that's it. I, it's been a few days since then, I haven't heard back from them. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna call me again or not. I feel like they probably won't, but if they do, I'll update you guys on the channel. What's up guys, just finishing up this edit here. Just wanted to give one last update um, before we kind of put this whole thing to rest and get back to the fishing on this channel. But I did actually get in contact with the person who was driving the boat that day um, and he was very apologetic, wanted to help me in any way that he could and offered to help fix my kayak and uh, he wanted to make sure everything was okay. I told him no problem, honest mistake and uh, we'll just kind of move on and obviously learn from it. So hopefully I learned from it for sure. Hopefully you guys did the same um, from watching this video and maybe the previous one as well. And uh, other than that, let's get back out to the kayak. Basically my reasoning for reporting it and just for creating this video in general is I wanted to promote um, boat and kayak safety when you're out on the water. And uh, there's enough dangers out there, sharks, you know, mechanical failures, etc., that looking out for each other is definitely something that you everyone should do when they're out on the water. So hopefully you learned something about kayak boating safety in general. I'm no expert, but uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the section in the comment section below. And another reason why I made this video is hopefully it answered a few questions. There was just so many comments on my last video and I wasn't able to respond to all of them, obviously. There was like probably over a thousand comments. And uh, from all my previous videos, I would always respond to all the comments in the comment section. And this time, this one just blew up so much, I just wasn't able to. So thank you guys for all your comments. And for the most part, everyone was pretty supportive and helpful. and. You know, I learned a few things from this, and basically my goal from this video was to pass on my learning to you guys, and hopefully we achieve that. Like I said earlier, this was easily my biggest video on YouTube, so thank you guys for everyone who shared the video, and hopefully in the end everyone can get a little bit more knowledge about kayak fishing safety, 
And uh, for those of you who have joined the channel since then, I know we have a few new subscribers. Thank you guys and welcome to the channel. We actually just hit 20,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for that. Wouldn't be making videos if it wasn't for you guys. So that's it for this video. I'm actually packing up my kayak right now because I got an exciting trip planned for tomorrow morning with a couple of other YouTubers. And I'm not gonna tell you exactly who they are, but I can tell you it's gonna be a fun trip and you guys are gonna like it. So I don't know if we'll be able to match my link card from the last video, but we'll see. You never know when you get out on the water. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.